Hi everyone, let's take a closer look at how we can use the free version of Book Creator online in Google Chrome in order to create interactive yearbooks to celebrate the end of the school year. So here I am at bookcreator.com in a Google Chrome browser window, and I'm simply going to click sign in. And when you get to this window, make sure that you click the tab teacher sign in and then I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. And I'll select my ECSD email. Welcome to my library. I currently have no books in my library, so let's go ahead and start a brand new book by clicking the plus new book button here in the top right corner. Once we've chosen the shape of our book, we can go ahead and start designing the cover. Notice that I can click the plus to add items, including media and shapes. I also have the ability while I'm on the cover to click the eye for inspector. And this allows me to change the color of the page or even access different categories for different templates. Let's go ahead and add the banner border to this particular cover. Next, I want to add the title for our yearbook. So I'm going to click the plus to add an item. Now I could always click text in order to add the title using the text box, but I've actually designed the title in Google Drawings and have saved it to my drive. So I'm going to click the plus to add items and click import. By clicking import, notice that I can search Google for images that are labeled for Creative Commons. I can search for a place on Google Maps. I can upload files from my device. I can connect my Google Drive in order to search my drive to access files that I've created. So here's the folder in which I've saved the file. And I'm simply going to select the file and add it to the cover. Notice that I can move it around. I can even resize it once it's on the cover. Let's add a few more images, including an image from a Google search, as well as an image of the school to the cover of this yearbook. Again, I've clicked the plus to add an item and under media, I'm going to select import. Now let's start with the Google search. Let's search for a graduation hat. All right, we'll select our image, click select and add that to the cover. Again, I can resize and move this image to where I want it on the cover. To add the image of the school, I'll click plus and I've already taken a picture and uploaded it to my Google Drive. So I'll click import again, click drive, and I'll go to that folder or I could search my Google Drive for that particular picture. Let's move this picture to the back. So I right click on the picture, select move to the back, and now I can tuck it in behind the farewell banner. Now that we have our cover designed, we can go ahead and click the arrow to go to the next page and start building the content of our pages. All right, let's start with a farewell message to all of our students from the teacher. So what I can do is I can click the plus and I could add the text box by clicking text. Let's click done. With this text selected, Notice what happens now when I go to Inspector. In addition to being able to change the design or the background of our page, I now have a tab for text and I have way more formatting options here for my text, including being able to make my font larger, being able to change the font style, as well as change the color of the font or even add a shadow. And I can move that font anywhere on the page. All right, let's go back to plus. Now I could just simply add a picture of myself as the teacher, 
or I can click camera. And with the camera feature, notice that I could simply take a picture to insert on the page, or I could select record a video. And I could actually record a video message of farewell to all of my students and have that video featured on the page. So first I'll take a picture, click use picture. Once that image loads on the page, I can resize it and I can move it to where I want it on my page. Again, let's go back to camera. So I'll click the plus to add an item and click camera. And this time we'll select record video. And again, I can record a brief video message of farewell and well wishes to my students to include in the yearbook. Once I click use video, that video gets loaded here onto my page. And again, I can move it or replace my image with that video message. An alternative to recording a video would be to add a picture of myself as the teacher, type in my farewell message, and then click the plus to add a recording. Notice that I can click start recording. And after the countdown, I could then proceed to share my farewell message in a recorded message. I simply click stop recording when I'm finished. I can preview the recording and click use the recording to upload or add to my page. All right, let's move on to building our student pages. So I'm going to click the next button to move to page three. So for my student pages, I want to add pictures that I've collected again in my Google Drive. So I'm going to come up to the plus to add an item and go to import and select drive. Now, thanks to the Google form that was sent out to all of my students, I was able to collect through that form a baby picture, their grad picture, and a video recording of their farewell message. I can add all of this content to Book Creator right from my Google Drive folder that that Google form makes. So here's that folder. Notice that the content that was shared through the Google form is all organized into separate folders. And let's start with baby photos. So I'll just open up the baby photo folder and I can only import up to 10 photos at a time. So I'm going to click control on my keyboard and select five photos and click select. All right, we'll give those a moment to load. And then again, I can start moving them around once they've imported and resize them to fit the page. And again, I can go ahead and add more by coming up to that plus, going to import, drive, and finding that folder. And once I've filled up the page or I'm ready to move on to adding other photos like their grad photos, I can simply click the plus to create a new page in my book. Let's add the grad photos to page four. So again, I'm going to click on plus, click import, go to Google Drive, find that folder where I have all of the students grad photos. And again, to select multiple photos, just select a photo, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and with your mouse, select more photos. With the grad photos laid out on the page, we could also go ahead and start adding additional content in. For instance, if we collected quotes from the students, we could add a quote by simply clicking the plus and adding a text box and pasting in the quote that we received from the student. We could then resize that text box. And again, you can format that text by simply clicking on the eye for inspector with the text selected. We can reduce the size of that font and then we can line up that quote next to the student who submitted it. We could add even more engaging elements to this page uh, by adding text boxes with the students' names in them. We could add or insert 
videos that the students themselves have created and shared with us in Google Drive. Again, I could simply click the plus to add an item, go to import, go to drive, find that folder where, where my students submitted their content and find the video message folder and I could import the student's video. All right, now that I've gone ahead and added a wide variety of content to this yearbook, let's go ahead and press the play button to read the book. And let's just go back to the beginning and notice that all the elements are interactive. So we could play the video to hear the video message. Check out those amazing, adorable baby pictures. And not only take a look at those incredible pictures of the MTech team when they were so young, but also hear from members by clicking on their videos. My favorite memory is when Trish made a gif of me doing the floss dancing. I'm not very good at the floss. It was funny and terrible all at the same time. All right, let's click the edit button to go back. And now that I've finished my yearbook, I am ready to publish my yearbook. So let's go back to my books so that I'm in the library view. And here at the very bottom, I can click to give my yearbook a title and to publish it and then share it with my students, I could simply click the sharing button, publish online, and again, give the book a title. I can select that title that it pulled right from the cover and I can select publish book. Once the book has been published, notice on this screen that I can copy a public share link to my clipboard and then I can share that link in my Google Classroom or through an email or my Microsoft Teams. I can read my book online and I can stop publishing my book at any time.